We're only going to stay here for a couple of days. This place looks great to stay for a while. Yeah, but it'll be safe for a bit. Cameron has a point. Alright, let's go around and see if anyone is here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's not waste any time here and just see if anyone else is living here. Hey, Jill, I think I found something that you might like. Holy shit, this is going to last us for at least three to five months! At least for the most part. We would have been fucked if we didn't have any of these supplies. So, who's gonna keep a watch out tonight? I don't think we would have anyone keep watch tonight, since we have doors this time. If you'd like, I can keep watch for tonight. Are you sure that you want to? I'm sure. You should have one more person keep watch just in case. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I'm going to be just fine doing it alone. Look. I understand that you want to be this and that, but you need someone just in case if something happens. Ben, listen to him. I don't want to listen to my deadbeat of a father. Let me prove to you that I can do it alone. <sighs> Alright. If you want to prove it to me, then you can do it all alone for the rest of your life. Geo, I don't think- Just let him. If he wants to do it, then let him do it. You know, if Nick was here, he would have made everything different. Finn. Nick has helped us, and if we went for him, we all would have been dead. Hey, asshole. You have to show respect to your dad. He isn't my dad. <laughs> Cameron! Get up. You want to act all tough? Then get your ass up. Y you just hit a child. Do you really think I give a shit? That shit doesn't exist in this day and age. You can't hit a child. 
it's, it's against the law. For your information there, Finn. You're 17. You're a fucking teenager. Cameron? You have to come down a little bit, buddy. He needs to know, Geo. Know what? Well, go on, Cameron. What? Cameron? Geo sacrificed everything to save your ass. What do you... On the day when the world went to shit, we saw a kid scared out of his, their mind. Because they were looking at their father being torn to shreds by their own mother. I said, leave the kid. He's a goner. We can't do this. Geo, don't do this. But Geo, that man over there said, I've already seen enough death for one day. And this kid, who we saved, turned into the, be the most disrespectful piece of shit. Hell, sometimes I wish that he just left you there to die. So, you want to act tough? Be my guest. But until you learn respect and realize that man over there is your fucking father. Where are you going? I'll be back. This fucking kid. I understand that you're looking out for him, but... But what? You know, everything that I pointed out is all true. Judith, Cameron has a point. I know that, but... Don't say that he's a kid. He's at an age where shooting a walker is okay. In that case, he is a man. I just... Judith, there's nothing else to say. Cameron has every way to say all these things. Look, I never meant to say that he would. I wish he was killed. He is a good kid, but he's an asshole. <sighs> I should honestly go check up on him. Yeah, you should. Oh, and Cameron? Hmm? Only hugging. <laughs> no promises. I hope Finn's okay. Hey, you know, if Nick never saved you, I think that Finn would have been even more screwed without having a father figure like you next to him. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Finn. Hey. I didn't think that you would be here. I... I never knew that I was very close to death. You were only eight years old when Cameron and I found you. What? When you were little, you were so attached to me and Cameron. Oh, you shot your first walker head on when you were ten. And Cameron was the one who taught you. I still remember the day you came on our first supply run. Well, most like begged us to bring you with us. You were 11, by the way. Don't tell Judith. Hell, you couldn't stop taking Cameron's knife out of his bag. That's where Cameron started to call you ladron. <laughs> but I wasn't a thief. The knife was mine to begin with. Look, even if you're not my son by blood, I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of you. But you need to understand that you need to be a man. Because now... This apocalypse isn't going to stop for the time being. Why haven't you told me this story? <sighs> to be honest, I was afraid what kind of face you would make if I told you. Why would you think that? Uh, hello? The way you add the toy to all of us? <sighs> Anyways, how's your cheek? <laughs> it hurts like hell, but I'll manage. I'm glad that you're okay, kid. I want to apologize for everything that I did, Cameron. It's fine. You're just a kid. But you have to respect everyone, though. I will. This is the last time I'm ever doing that. Alright, shut up and get back on topic. Are we actually going to stay here? Oh shit, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, we are. We don't have anywhere else to go, so... I mean, yeah, he does have a point. So... Who's gonna keep a watch out tonight? I'm fine with keeping an eye tonight. After yesterday? I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, come on. 
Look, the doors are already broken down. We need someone to keep watch tonight. I'll do it. Finn, no. You need a good night's sleep. I've already had enough of being treated like a child. Let me be an adult and keep watch tonight. <sighs> Alright, fine. Hope that you won't do anything stupid. I won't. If you want, I'll keep watch out with you, Finn. I'm fine with that. Alright. If you guys are being ambushed or anything, just yell. Jill, I'm afraid that Finn's gonna get himself killed. Look, he's going to be just fine. I trust him enough that he'll protect himself and protect all of us along with Justin. I'll trust you on this. Alright, we're going upstairs because it's almost late. We should honestly get some rest. Are you sure that Finn is gonna be okay? I'm sure. He apologized to me and we're now in good terms. I trust that none pretended us. Just worried for him. He'll be fine. I promise. Now, can we please get some rest? Yeah, sure. So, what gave you the opinion to apologize to everyone? I just realized what mistakes I've made, and I don't want to ruin my relationship with everyone in the group. Well, it's good you realized your mistake you made. Yeah, I didn't... Who the hell are you people? We going by the unseen. Is there any more people inside? Why do you want to know? It's either you tell us where they are, or we're going to kill you. Yes, there are. Now that's a good boy, alright? Get up. <laughs> 